ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brendan Plays, and welcome back to WWE 2K19 Universe Mode. This is NXT, and tonight, we're going to have ourselves a Cruiserweight Battle Royal to decide who will be the number one contender for the Cruiserweight Championship. And we're going to start that match off right now. We will get things underway here with the Australian Cruiserweight Buddy Murphy. Well, you know I want to support Buddy Murphy as much as I possibly can, but the man has only won two matches in Universe Mode history, boasting a 14 win percentage. 14, two wins and 14 losses. It's rough going for Buddy Murphy, but hey, tonight could be his night. This is a big chance for him to step up and shine, but he's got some tough competition. Eight superstars will be in this matchup, including Mustafa Ali. Well, so much to like about Mustafa Ali, but the biggest thing about Mustafa is the fact that he recently knocked off Ricochet. What an upset that was. Beating Ricochet last week on NXT and catapulting himself straight into the mix for the Cruiserweight Championship. Ricochet was hoping to come to NXT and really light things up, but uh, Mustafa Ali putting an end to that very, very quickly. Another newcomer to NXT. Yet to pick up his first win as well. It is Leo Rush. He says he's come to collect the NXT Cruiserweight Championship. Tonight, perfect opportunity for him to become the number one contender. Battle Royal situation. Pick and choose your spots. This is your chance to really shine. You don't have to beat somebody one-on-one. -on -one. All you got to do is really throw someone over the top of the rope when they're distracted, they're not focusing, they're dealing with somebody else. And someone like Leo Rush, I think he's crafty enough to be able to make that happen he's not the biggest guy in the world doesn't have to be in this type of match but i feel as though leo rush is perhaps smarter than maybe some of his competition might be able to take advantage of that next man in this matchup tyler bates we've seen himself and trent seven a part of mustache mountain competing for the nxt tag team championships in the past well tonight tyler bate focuses on himself and his singles aspirations gets an opportunity to be a part of this battle royal to perhaps become a cruiserweight champion Man from the UK has got a big following over there and he's looking to get that following growing here and with a victory tonight I dare say he might have a couple of followers or two coming his way perhaps the greatest cruiserweight in NXT history here in universe mode Grand Metalik back in the cruiserweight championship hunt he's been in the tag team scene for a little bit now over the last couple of months Rare Metalik, such a tremendous start. A guy who has had a lot of success. 73 win percentage. Huge, huge numbers. The longest reigning Cruiserweight champion in Universe Mode history. That'll be tough to beat. As I said, perhaps the greatest Cruiserweight we have seen. But he's been out of the Cruiserweight hunt for a while, focusing on other projects. Well, we will see him in the mix tonight. We talked about this man a moment ago when Mustafa Ali came out. It is the one and only Ricochet. Made his return to NXT just recently after having an initial stint going back to Japan, competing back in there in the mix there and was tremendous. Now Ricochet finds himself back in NXT. He has said the Cruiserweight Championship is the goal for him and tonight that goal might be one step closer to completion. The fact remains is this, Ricochet has only won one match in NXT. He's lost an unbelievable seven. So Ricochet struggling himself, despite the fact there's high hopes, big talk about him, how talented he is, he's gonna start picking up some Ws. A man who has picked up Ws, a man who has been Cruiserweight Champion, Tommaso Ciampa. What a star this man is. He was the last Cruiserweight Champion before Johnny Gargano took it from him. Champa never got a rematch due to a knee injury. Well, he is cleared. He is back. And tonight could be the night where we see Champa pick up the victory that gets himself back in the hunt. So who's the final man? Well, wait a second. We know this music. We've heard this music before. If I can recall... This is not a man in NXT. In fact, this is not a man in the WWE. We are about to see a former champion, ladies and gentlemen. Austin Aries is here. What is he here? What is he doing here? A double 
has entered this battle royal. And well, well he is a cruiserweight. He's a former United States champion here in Universe Mode. And Austin Aries has been well given the green light to be part of this battle royal tonight by our general manager Shawn Michaels. And a bit of a spanner in the works. Aries, former US champ on Raw, has had success there. NXT, not the most success in the world for Aries. Perhaps he's got unfinished business here. Perhaps he just wants to be Cruiserweight Champion. I don't know. But he's in this match. My goodness, how will this go? This is going to be very, very interesting indeed. Well, I certainly was not expecting. Austin Aries, his old buddy Murphy, nearly eliminated straight away by Grand Meta League. All right, so this match, we didn't know the participants heading into it. It was unannounced. We only know four. We only knew four of them, so four. Well, relative surprise. This is Leo Rush is gone. Early exit. Hit the showers, Leo. You're out of here. Ricochet with the first elimination. Well, Ricochet, we spoke with him before this matchup tonight, and he said that he was embarrassed about his loss to Mustafa Ali last week, and that's disappointing to hear but he really felt as though he was going to come back to NXT pick up a big win start things off right and really prove himself as oh Grand Madalik is gone Ricochet's on fire two eliminations now including the former Cruiserweight champion Metalik is gone well Metalik's been out of the Cruiserweight game for a while now focusing on perhaps getting a main roster spot or Heading into the tag team division. And oh no! Ali got him again! Mustafa Ali has got Ricochet again! And Buddy Murphy has eliminated Austin Aries! Chaos erupting here! Austin Aries, the surprise entrant. He can't believe it. It's not going to be his night. He is gone. Well, he thought he might return to NXT. Get himself a chance to win some gold, but it won't be. And Mustafa Ali has took care of Ricochet again. Can you believe it? Two weeks in a row, Ricochet has, well, in Ricochet's own words, embarrassed him. Mustafa Ali, a tremendous competitor. We know that, but uh, Ricochet can't believe what's just happened to him. He thought he'd come back to NXT and just, you know, take the world by storm he was tremendous had so many great performances in his first stint without winning and now he's back he thought he would start winning and still can't find a way to get there Ali with a massive elimination trying to perhaps eliminate trying to perhaps to eliminate Tommaso Ciampa not to be is now Buddy Murphy with Tyler Bate Murphy's eliminated wow we're down to three already well, that did not take long, and we know the Cruiserweights are high-flying superstars. The action is hot. They go all out at every occasion they get. And, geez, within minutes, the competition has cleared. We are down to just three. Tommaso Ciampa, a man that some like, some do not like. But what we do know is that Johnny Gargano and Ciampa do not like each other. That uh, rivalry's been brewing for many months now. Former tag team champions together. Now, bit of rivals over this Cruiserweight Championship. And who can blame them? Cruiserweight Championship is a hot prize. It's a hot commodity. And so many great names are gunning for it. Champa out of action due to an injury. And you know he wants to get back in the mix. Tonight's his chance to get there. Is Oh, Ali! Oh, almost thrown over the top of the rope. Tyler Bate nearly had him. And Tyler Bate's been involved in the tag team championship scene. Great chance for him to prove himself as a singles. So we get a tag team work. Champa and Tyler Bate teaming up perhaps for the one and only time you'll see them in this matchup. As oh, Ali tried to take care of Champa. Not to be, but that time he caught him. And now Tyler Bate looks to take care of Tommaso Champa. Ali now caught there by Tyler Bate against the ropes. You don't want to be here. He's going to try to eliminate him now. Will Champa help out? He's trying, but Ali over the top, hanging on. One hand now, two hands back inside the ring. I don't mind the strategy. Take care of the competition. Throw him over the top of the rope early on, and then focus on individuals afterwards. And oh no, Champa's in trouble. The double team. This is going to be it. It's all over now for Champa. Throw him over. And he is. No, he's still in. But now the double team again, trying to slide him out. He gets the boot and then takes care of Tyler Bate. How the heck did Champa stay in there? I thought for sure that was going to be the end of him. And now an averted Hurricane Rider. 
And no, Tyler Bates over the top and out of there. He tried to close line Mustafa Ali. He paid the price. He flew over the top of the rope. Oh no, it's down to two now. Tyler Bates, this is his moment to shine as a singles. He's missed out. But instead, Mustafa Ali, Tommaso Ciampa get this opportunity. And we thought we were going to see eight guys go at it. Well, we did for a, just a very limited amount of time. It's now turned into a singles contest. To win, you got to throw your opponent over the top. Colon elbow. Ciampa tosses him away. Big clothesline there as Ciampa gets a bit of breathing room. Chance to refocus. And when you're in this type of situation, you do have to treat it as a regular singles match. But, of course, stay away from those ropes. Try and utilize your same tactics that you would to try and put your opponent down. Maybe go for your signature maneuver. And that's exactly what Ali might be thinking about here. At the top, here we go. Turns around, 450. Will that be it? Surely. And, oh, what a German. German suplex. Champ has got to be heard. Just throw him over to become the number one contender. But Mustafa Ali can't do it, and Champa somehow has brushed all of that off and is back in control. Can you believe it? Mustafa Ali doing everything right, except getting him over the top of the rope. Well, I was about to say, treat it as a regular singles match. Look for your best moves. That's exactly what Ali has done here. And with that upset win over Ricochet, you get the feeling that Mustafa Ali is still feeling very confident after last week's win. And all he's got to do now is if he throws Tommaso Ciampa over the top of the rope, he's going to book himself into takeover for a Cruiserweight Championship match against Johnny Gargano. A shot to the midsection. Champ with more right hands now. And Tommaso with a kick in the midsection side area of Mustafa, who's hurting a little bit now, a little bit stunned. You don't want to be in this position. Now Ciampa has him against the ropes. And Ciampa looking to try and eliminate here. You can fly off the top rope all you want, but you've got to throw your opponent over the top. Ali hanging on for dear life, but he's gone. Tommaso Ciampa does what he has to do, and that is throw his opponent over the top. And he's done it successfully. We will see Tommaso Ciampa take on Johnny Gargano once again for the Cruiserweight Championship at TakeOver. He's been dealing with a knee issue, but now... After all these months, Tommaso Ciampa will finally get the rematch he's been searching for. The Cruiserweight title on the line, tossing over Mustafa Ali, who had a tremendous performance, eliminating Ricochet, who was red hot himself. And Ricochet, he will be very disappointed. Mustafa Ali, even more disappointed. He came so, so close. But ultimately, Tommaso Ciampa is now the number one contender. Let's check out this week's results on main event as we have Goldust take on the Miz, Xavier Woods, and Big E, the New Day. They'll take on the American Alpha, Gable, and Jordan. And Alicia Fox, she'll take on Mandy Rose. It's going to be the Miz with a victory. The New Day pick up a win as well. And we're going to see Mandy Rose get a much needed victory against Alicia Fox. Now moving along to this week's NXT, Maria Canales will take on Candice LeRae. Lars Sullivan will take on Trent Seven in singles action as well. We're going to see Oni Lorcan and Danny Burch take on Hanson and Rowe, the War Raiders. Big match up there. Bianca Belair, she'll go one-on-one -on -one with Kari Sane. Good contest there between two of the top women in NXT. And we'll see Andrade Sin Almas. He'll face Velveteen Dream. The veteran Maria can't get a victory over Candice LeRae. Lars Sullivan, he's a man on a mission. And he gets a win over Trent Seven. The War Raiders pick up a much needed victory to keep their momentum going against Lorcan and Birch. And Kari Sane knocks off the impressive Bianca Belair. Well, our main event, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to see Andrade Cien Almas take on Velveteen Dream. We've been told that, well, the hunt is on for the next number one contender for the NXT Championship. And we've been told that perhaps a fatal four-way match is being thrown around. And our general manager, Shawn Michaels, wants to know who would be the best three participants to go into that match, of course, to face Adam Cole. Andrade Cien Almas, full of absolute potential. 
And I say that word potential because he hasn't quite lived up to it yet. We haven't seen the best of him, but we know he can be great. We know he's got the talent. Nine wins, 11 losses here in Universe Mode. So that goes to show that, yes, at times we see it, but consistency is what he lacks. Tonight, he's got Zelina Vega in his corner. And this could be the night he turns all around. This could be the night where he picks up the victory that puts him back on top. Well, Andrade's name's been floated around. Velveteen Dream's name's been floated around. Last Island was impressive. We know EC3's hanging around. Alistair Black. Some top names in NXT. And they all want the one thing. And that is the NXT Championship. Only one man can have it. And that's Adam Cole. The three will get a shot at it at TakeOver. The question is, who will be the three? Velveteen Dream. He's a bit out there, a little centric, but it works. Whatever he's done, whatever this thing he's got going on, this style of his is working out tremendously. And Velveteen Dream, he's just full of himself. He just, I think he just loves himself. Thinks he's fantastic. And look, it's working for him. I don't know if it throws off his opponents or what exactly it does, but it's been helping him pick up wins. It certainly has. 10 wins next to his name, six losses. So clearly, Velveteen Dream has got a winning attitude. Despite the fact he does think he's the greatest, probably person living right now. You know, Velveteen Dream, whilst he is very confident, he does back it up. And so, you know, you can be confident, you can be arrogant, but you gotta back it up. Velveteen Dream, to be fair, has done that pretty well. So, I guess, working off the percentages, you'd have to say Velveteen Dream would be the favorite for this match here tonight, but a big spine buster from Velveteen Dream. I was gonna say the percentages, they're not, you know, they're not everything, but right now Velveteen Dream with a great start, certainly backing up that claim. And he has been impressive. I certainly believe the last perhaps three months we're starting to see the best of Velveteen Dream. Wins are coming more frequently for him, whereas initially a little inconsistent. And we talk about consistency a lot here in Universe Mode, but it's so crucial. Our general manager, Shawn Michaels, and not just Shawn Michaels, all of our general managers across our three brands, they're looking for their superstars to win not one match, but two, three, four, five, six plus matches in a row. And that really step allows you to stand above the rest of the competition. If you're winning your matches, if you're proving that you're better than your opponent, it keeps allowing yourself to be elevated above the rest of the competition. And eventually, you're going to run out of competition to be elevated above. There's only going to be one man standing in front of you. That is the champion. Right now in NXT, it's pretty dead even. You know, I look at Lars Sullivan. He came so close to beating Adam Cole. You know, if the interference wasn't there, grabbing the referee, getting him out of the ring, causing the distraction, if that didn't happen, I truly believe Lars Sullivan had a great chance of that night winning the NXT Championship. Alistair Black's been dealing with Adam Cole for months now. We know how great Alistair Black is. We know he could definitely win the championship on any given night. He's got the talent. But again, it's a situation that has been difficult for him to overcome with all the, the variables ring aside with uh, the undisputed era. Velveteen Dream, we are starting to see the best of him. And Andrade, or well, I want to start seeing the best of him. It's about time we see it. And the other man involved, of course, is EC3, who put Adam Cole through a table at the recent TakeOver special. So EC3 kind of announced himself back on the scene in a major way, taking care of Adam Cole. But the thing about EC3 is something that I want to see from him is some matches. Where has he been? Why is he not competing right now? He's got six wins to his name, two losses here in NXT. So he does have that winning ability, but uh, I want to see a little bit more of him. I want to see him in that ring and proving himself. Perhaps next week on NXT, we might just see that. But uh, right now, it's about Velveteen Dream. It's about Andrade Cien Almas. And right now, it is Velveteen Dream clearly in control. This is the problem for Andrade. I think confidence is a little low. He starts to fall behind in the match. And I just feel as though he does not quite know how to come back from that. And that's all stemming because of all the talk that, you know, he's got this potential, he's got the ability, but, you know, the wins aren't there. You know, when there's a lot of talk about you and you're not living up to expectations, you're not living up to your hype, that can certainly play a part on you. That can really be a big mind game that you have to try and battle and overcome. Velveteen Dream. 
Hang to the top. What's he thinking about here? Andrade in a seated position. Velveteen's happy to wait as he tries to wait for Andrade to get in position, but he's changed his mind. Velveteen might have been looking for that big elbow, but instead, I don't know if he had the range. And, of course, Andrade not in position. Who plays possum there. Able to avoid the splash in the corner. Now he gets hung up on the ropes, says Velveteen. And all of a sudden, the tide's starting to turn. Andrade back in this match, you feel. And now the headlock. Well, the problem for Andrade has definitely been, there has been a lot of great names also gunning for the same prize as him. You know, he's looking to become the, of course, NXT champion. And you got Velveteen Dream, Last Sullivan, Alistair Black, EC3. Some big names right there, all wanting the same thing. It's difficult. And before that, you know, guys like Kashisano, Roderick Strong, before they moved up, those guys are in the way for Andrade as well. And many more. It's it, it's a tough process if for Andrade. you just got to stay patient, though. It's a massive boot to the face of Valentin. Takes him outside over the ring. And now Andrade Cien Armas going to line him up here. Will he fly to the outside? Here he comes with the elbow. Right to the face of Valentin. And down he goes. Kicks the forward up here. But Velveteen going to try some offense of his own. No, no, no. Oh, bouncing head first off the apron. You don't want to be there if you're Andrade. Certainly one of the hardest parts of the ring area. Referee's count starting to grow a little bit. Velveteen's got to be careful of it. But a count out is good enough if you're Velveteen Dream. You don't have to beat him by pinfall or submission. Just get it done one way or another. And of course recent champions video if you didn't see it make sure you do check it out we did highlight all the recent champions and all the title changes that here in universe mode but one thing that has certainly stayed the same has been the undisputed era's dominance adam cole kyle o'reilly bobby fish their dominance of this brand it is not looking like changing at all the question is is there an entity right now here in nxt that can take down adam cole even though we've got three challenges coming up at the next event will that be enough to beat adam cole will we see will we see adam cole find a way to win again we don't quite know who will face o'reilly and fish just yet but uh, whoever does have that chance well you best believe they've got to be at their best to win on that night it will not be easy at all and valvatine dream and a backbreaker Oof, that's definitely gonna hurt and Andrade is a little stunned at the moment. Into the corner. Velveteen Dream slowly heading over there. Velveteen's going to try and pick up the pace, I feel. Going to try and keep that momentum going. He's on right now. And that will help. And he's got a chance to, to strike. And he's going to go for it. Heading to the top. Velveteen Dream off the top rope. Will he fly? Hits the elbow on the back of the neck and head area of Andrade. I don't think that's what he was looking for, but Andrade was moving at the last second. Referee slow in position. Could be it. No, the kick at it too. Valentin Dream thought he had him, but of course Andrade moving away. Valentin didn't like that, and the referee slow may have cost him. He'll try it again. Valentin now off the top. Missing. That could be crucial in this match for Valentin. He needed to hit that. Now Andrade. Oh no. Here comes the Hammerlock DDT. Taking advantage of the miss. Andrade with a color. Dream's hands is close to the ropes, but he can't reach out and grab it. Andrade with perhaps the biggest win in his career in quite some time. Andrade, CN Armors, knocks off Valentin Dream and may have just thrown his name into the conversation for the fatal four way at TakeOver. Well, the elbow earlier on was not quite enough from Velveteen. He tried it again. Andrade able to avoid it. He rolled out of the way. He came back to his feet, hit the hammerlock DDT, and was able to successfully put Velveteen Dream away. Here it was. The second elbow found nothing but the canvas, and then the hammerlock DDT. And Velveteen Dream, he, his hand was so close, a fingertip away from the ropes. All he had to do was reach out and grab it. But he was out cold. Couldn't quite do it. Referee deemed it to be okay. And Andrade, is he back? 
Are we about to see him really start to shine? We've been waiting and waiting. We've seen some glimpses of it. He's been down on confidence, down on luck, if, if you will. But this win may it just kickstart Andrade Sinoma's career again. It might just put him in the title picture at NXT TakeOver number 12. Ladies and gentlemen, that is all we have time for for this edition of Universe Mode. The next pay-per-view coming your way will be Backlash. It is official. AJ Styles will face the WWE Champion, Roman Reigns, for the championship. It is a rematch. It is a battle. It is a feud. It's a rivalry that has been going on for many, many months. Styles finally eligible to have a rematch for that title, the title he lost, all the way back at the Royal Rumble. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like on it. Subscribe to see more. Check out the description down below where you can find links to the website and find it all about the recent championship history changes, our roster pages. Of course, you can join our Discord page as well. If you join our chat, it is free to join, and you can chat with me and many other wrestling fans as well. And lots of cool stuff are happening over there. You don't want to miss it. Thanks, guys, for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.